Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hope that you're all doing well. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And the bell that comes up, make sure that you hit that as well. That will allow you to get notifications whenever I post something new. My demonstration today is going to be painting on rocks. These two rocks happen to be memorial rocks. thought it was appropriate since it is Memorial Weekend. So I'm going to bring you along with me for the painting of these rocks. But I have already started, got an early start, base coated both sides of the rock with the licorice, which is multi-surface paint and it's folk art paint. The writing that I've done on here is also multi-surface paint and it's wicker white. Went ahead and, and <clears throat> actually went ahead and painted these with the uh, Miss You Mom, Miss You Dad on them so that it gave me an opportunity to get these to actually dry before I started painting the design on them. Just going to have it be simple and sweet. Going to be using, in addition to the two colors I mentioned, going to be using my citrus green, which I love, multi surface. All these are folk art paints. Uh, yellow ochre, folk art enamel. Moon yellow is multi surface. For the center, I'm using real brown and using real brown, and then I'm also, for part of it, using real brown mixed with a little bit of pure orange. Folk Art Enamel, the real brown is multi-surface, and then uh, Sunflower, which is multi-surface, and then going back to the licorice, which is multi-surface paint. So let's go ahead and get started. The design I picked out for these is going to be a sunflower theme. Love sunflowers, probably one of my most favorite designs to paint. I am going to start out by tapping in the centers for the sunflowers. So just bear with me here, hopefully you can see. Using, oh, I forgot to say brushes, using my scruffy brush, this is the quarter inch. I'm going to be using a number eight flat brush. And then I'm going to be using one of my styluses to put some dots into Doing a little bit of something different with the with the sunflower center, which I kind of liked. Kind of have seen a design that I really think is, is awesome, so I'm going to try that. Use this actually. The the writing on here is wicker white, and I used a stylus to put it on. Now, if you're like me, I struggle with the writing part. Not sure, you know, if you're somebody that that doesn't have that issue, you are so lucky. But I happen to have an issue with that. My handwriting is not the greatest, and I'm trying to work on you know, being able to write on you know, whether it's stones or it's something else. I'm trying to get better at it. So, anyhow, that's a big issue for me. I have found, though, using the stylus gives me more control. Not sure if you're someone who has had issues with this in the past, like I have, but even using a marker, you know, a paint marker that's you know supposed to be for this purpose, I'm finding that you know when you're doing it on a rock, it skips. So you're painting and then it skips, and you're painting and then it skips. So you don't have a, a nice line, you have a jagged line. So then, I'm not sure if I saw somebody doing this. I'm not sure how I came up with it. They were doing something else, I think. And I thought to myself, you know what? That would probably be the perfect thing to do writing with. And honestly, it's worked out perfectly for me. I love it. I feel like I have more control over my writing. You know, I still have to, I still have stuff to master regarding that. And I think, you know, nobody's perfect. Ah, uh, I'm definitely not. But I really like how, how it actually turns out. So, if you're somebody, you know, have you, what do you try, or what have you tried? Have you ever tried using a stylus to write with on anything? 
any kind of work that you're doing. Have you ever used that? Let me know down in the comments. And if you're somebody that views my channel regularly, you're going to know already that I like to work in odd numbers. Maybe that's because I'm odd. I don't know. But I like to work in odd numbers. So that's what you're going to see on here. And like I said, I'm just tapping in the centers. And we'll be quickly here adding in the petals for the flowers. Get them where I want them to be. But I really enjoy painting on stones. Have you ever painted on stones? If you have, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite design is. If you have a favorite product, you know, give me some suggestions down below. I'd, I'd love to hear from you. And these are going to be all open. They're going to be all open flowers. Now, I am going to be using a combination of three different paints for my petals. I'm using the yellow ochre, the sunflower, and the moon yellow. And I'm basically just touching my brush into the paint. Nothing crazy. Just touching them into the paint and then I'm going to just do my little my little petals like that and I can, I'm going to keep loading my brush now you can get into the center here and pull some of that out here if you want because it's okay I really kind of like brown in my my center or in my petals so that's fine if, any, if some of it picks up and comes along and if you feel like it's not opaque enough you know feel free to go back over it again you could either allow some drying time or just go right back over it as you're painting and if that doesn't matter to you, that you can see some of the black through it, then just keep going. It's fine. Now you know with sunflowers, some of them are painted often with just one layer of flower petals. But if you've ever examined one, there's actually more than just one layer of petals. So however you prefer, I'm just going to do it as one layer. If you're someone who likes it with the multi layers, you know, feel free. Always, 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 when you're viewing my videos, please feel free to do my designs. Add your own twist to them. That's great. If you add your own twist, that's perfect. Now here I might go over my Misha a little bit. That's fine. It doesn't have to be um, completely uncovered. But that's fine and then I'm going to go back here to this one and I will be pulling my leaves overlapping because as you know in nature we're not perfectly you know lined up I guess is the best way to say that now if you don't like going over the writing then don't you can make them partial, partial sunflowers. You know, to me, I don't really mind it. I'm trying to curve it a little bit, but that's fine. It's basically, as long as you're happy with what you're doing, that's what matters. Now, if you're selling your artwork and want to be, you know, I don't know, in particular or specific or whatnot, feel free. I don't, you know, this is, this is something special I'm doing in the memory of my parents. So 
for whatever works for you when you're doing something, by all means, do it. So tell me what you think about these so far. Are you liking them? Yeah, give me a big thumbs up. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Give me a yes in the comments below if you're liking what I'm doing. Now you can also make your center bigger if you want. Sometimes I can get crazy with the size of my petals. What I typically do though is once I'm done painting those petals, I will go back over my centers and tap over the petals a little bit just so they give, it gives it a more finished look. So I'm just tap tap tapping just to give it a finished look. And I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. Like I said, I can make them bigger, make them stand out, just make them, make them whatever. But so far, I think that's cute. I'm hoping you're liking these. If you have any questions, please let me know as I'm going along. If I'm getting off camera, I apologize. I am trying to keep on camera. I think painting sunflowers are so fun. What's your favorite flower to paint? Can you give me a comment down below and let me know? Love to hear from you. Now if you're new to my channel and you don't know the drill, please make sure that if you like my video, you share it with your friends, friends, family, whomever, and give me a big thumbs up. I'd love to hear comments from you if you like it. If you have any suggestions, and anything that you'd like to say please feel free to give me a comment below if there's something in particular you'd like to see painted if you just want to say hey that's great too I think I'm going off camera again I'm sorry I do try to pay attention to that and when you're painting your your petals you don't have to go in the same direction if you see what I mean like this one I kind of turned it and it comes down. Well, I have to turn it and make it nicer on the end here. And then I'll just keep turning it. I think it's covering up nicely. Even if a little bit of the block shows through, that's fine. I have a tendency to say that a lot, but I'm pretty much I just like to be go with the flow. Pretty much. In this pattern, you obviously don't have to paint on stones. I really do enjoy stones, and I have for years. So. We're going to keep turning it, keep turning it, until we get done. I don't know, I don't really like the way this one ended here. I mess it up, but if I do, I'll just keep working on it. Okay, maybe I'll put another petal in here. There you go. Main thing when you're painting is to know how to fix stuff or how to make it look better if you need to without kind of losing it. Alright, so we're going to go back over this one and again I can make this bigger if I need to. Just tap it on with my scruffy brush. And there's ways to do these other than like the way I'm doing like this here. That's nice. 
go tap, 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 tap. But honestly, with how I'm going to finish them, you're not going to really see them a whole lot, I don't think. So it doesn't really matter. All right, so there we are with that. Now I'm going to give them just a little drying time. brush. Put them some drying time and work on putting some leaves in here. I'm using the, the green that I mentioned, the citrus green. And I'm just going to be putting in just some real easy, easy flowers, or not flowers, but leaves. They're not multicolored. Unless I pull some other paint in. They're just the citrus green. Now you can go over them because I've thought about doing this with some white. Pull some over this way. can add colors into them if you want. I'm just trying to make them very simple. Very simple. Because you can get real fun with the sunflower, sunflower leaves really. The way they can be. When I'm painting these, I can paint it look like the vine is, or the uh, thing is going behind the thing. The stem is going behind the letter, or do it on top. Either way. So I'm going to pull some this direction. Very, very simple. And it's meant to be. If you follow my channel, you know that I intend my I'm intending to make things easy so that new painters can do them. You know, it's the basis of my even when I'm doing the glass painting and all that. I just I just want people to be able to have fun and paint because I love it. I basically anything I know I've you know pretty much have watched people now that the internet is so big with that or I've taught myself maybe not always taught myself right but um, you know that's neither here nor there really and like I said you, even on the leaves you can switch up the direction in which they're going they don't have to be going you know, any particular direction. Mix it up. You can add other flowers into this. I'm just going to leave it like this. Just make it simple. Yeah, in all honesty, my parents aren't going to care. Because they aren't there. And I could pull some in here. I'm just going to kind of leave it like this, I do believe, as far as the amount of leaves I've placed on here. I think it's good. Now you can put some little swirly, viney kind of designs in there if you want. I'm not going to do that at this time. What I will do, though, is allow these to dry, and then I'm going to spray a few coats of the Mod Podge Ultra, which is a fairly new product that Plod came out with. I love it. If you've had any experiences with it, if you would comment below and let me know how much you like it or if you do. And I've had some kind of some mixed mixed responses from people. 
with it. I like it. I haven't had any bad experiences with it. So I'd like to hear from you. Like I said, what you think. And keeping it simple. We're going to keep it simple. Again, I'm just going to go like that. And then maybe raise one up here. It's going over the lettering a little bit. Not a big deal. Definitely not. And I just stuck my finger in the green paint. I'm so good at that. I'm probably better at that than I am painting. It's making a mess. It's like so good at that. Alright, we're almost finished. And my intention is to get these done so I can display them tomorrow. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. A little bit more. Right here. Hope that you're having a good weekend. And you know, with the holiday and all. Actually our weather's ended up being a little bit better than I expected. It always seems like it has to rain a little bit each day. Today definitely turned out better than I thought it would. Oops, that's a little thick. Like I said, it would look nice if you... I keep making that so thick. If you uh, wanted to put another color over the leaves. Like I said, I'm not going to. I think it's sufficient the way it is right now. What I am going to add, and I don't want to forget, is some dotting to the centers. And I think this is very interesting. Um, you can do a lot of... And I'm trying just to make them different sizes and not all so big. But it's really kind of neat, the look that it can give you. I said with this, the way I'm going to do this, you're really not going to see the center so much. So it didn't really matter. But I love these little dots. Love them, love them, love them. Let me know if you like them down in the comments. And here's my big guy. And I'm going to put some smaller ones. Just kind of spot them out there. Definitely not going to get them on the next one. Yeah, you can make them thicker. Bring them down. Put some up here. And like I said, you can make them thicker, thinner. Doesn't matter. And we'll do that here. Let me know if you like this kind of a center for a sunflower. That one kind of smeared a little bit, but oh well. I guess that my parents won't be around to see it really. in it. I don't like that either. I could lift that off and I probably will once the video is done. But I'm just, you know, tapping. You know, there's so many different sizes of these little things. Um, the dotting tools that you can actually make them different. Use the different size dotting tools or just 
lessen the pressure that you're putting on it, which is what I'm trying to do on some of these. Not sure how successful I'm being. I'm going to go over here and repeat the same. And also, too, with the dot, I mean, you can do different colored dots if you want to just do it as a little bit of an accent around the center instead of just doing all black like I'm doing. And I got another blob there. I like those big blobs, apparently. I'm doing enough of them. All right. So, if you, again, if you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button. Make sure you do hit the bell. That's notification, once again, uh, that you can get, uh, let, I'm um, sorry, be advised when I do a new video. And make sure that you share it with your friends. I do love help getting help promoting my channels. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. And I think we're done. I'll just try to do this without messing up anything. Because as you see, I do have green on my fingers. Alright. Let me know what you think down below if you like these yes no and until the next video i will see you then